Even as Ghana continues to climb higher on the international ladder, one problem that keeps drawing the nation back is the issue of sanitation. Over the years, various interventions have been rolled out to nip the problem in the bud. Notable among these interventions is the cleanup exercises on the first Saturday of each month. Some are of the view that even this initiative has yet to achieve the needed results. This is because mountains of filth continue to pile up on our streets and markets day in and day out. The result has always been the outbreak of waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid, as well as floods that occur any time it rains. The president, Nane Kufuado, has said he wants to make Accra the cleanest and best city in Africa by the end of his first term of office, a commitment he has backed by setting up a ministry dedicated to sanitation. The Ministry of Sanitation over the past few months has been grappling with a sanitation menace. There has been a call on the private sector to support the government to turn around the situation through a public-private partnership, PPP. Some banks in the country are offering loans at a lower interest rate to private investors in the sanitation sector. The country program director of the Netherlands Development Organization, SNV, Mr. Eric Banye, says the issue of sanitation must be tackled head-on. We see sanitation as a pillar in the economic development of the country. We cannot continuously be developing when we have poor sanitation services. And therefore, we need to go back to the roots and address the very cause of our development challenges. And one is poor sanitation. If you are able to tackle sanitation effectively, you will find that all the associated illnesses as a result of poor sanitation will be reduced. Our, the pressure on our health facilities will be reduced. Productivity will be increased. And of course, you have a more healthy nation that can really work on the development of the country. According to Mr. Eric Banye, policies and laws must be followed for proper management of waste in the country. We must see tangible actions by the ministry. We must see the ministry coming out of recommendations and policies that are well incorporated in almost all the district assemblies medium term plans. Another branch of sanitation that is also dragging the country back is opendification. Most households in Ghana do not have access to improved places of convenience. The beaches, open drains and bushes have become places of convenience for some communities. One such typical community is Weaboman in the Gas South municipality of the Greater Accra region. In this community, sanitation is virtually non-existent and residents, majority of whom do not have places of convenience in their homes, use this waterfront to serve such purposes. The Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Gamma Project has yielded some results as some of the residents have acquired the subsidized places of convenience at half price in their homes. To this end, the private sector has been encouraged to invest in this drive. We cannot do it alone as a government, so we need the private sector players to begin to see sanitation as an income generation activity. And until we do that particular one, people will begin to see sanitation more or less like, oh, it's a waste. But every waste is also a form of either energy or income. Most private sectors are saying that no, the current interest rates is not is prohibiting them from investing in the sector because if you really go in for a traditional banking loan of almost 30 plus percent to come and invest in the sanitation sector either you need more years to break even or you will not break even at all and people will not be willing to pay. Countries like Rwanda started implementing the PPP approach in 2004 when it became clear that community management in water and sanitation in many cases did not work. Rwanda has made inroads in its sanitation sector. The public-private partnership hinges on the basis that the public sector is important for the social perspective of water as a human right and essential for public health, while the private sector brings in efficient management skills and entrepreneurial approach. For GBC24, Winifred Fum reporting.